Yes, yes, that was my guy, Zay Sanford. Check him out. Sanford for music. Uh, young brother on the rise of R&B. Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Prime Tie. See, the M is silent. The M is small. Like we tell people, sometimes in life, the smaller things will quietly lead you to the bigger opportunities. Follow me on social media, all platforms at Entertainment, and even on Catch App. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we got a we got a great guest tonight. She didn't bring a piece of her heart. She didn't bring half of her heart. <laughs> the whole heart. <laughs> and she is a lifestyle strategist. Hailing from the other Columbus, Columbus, Ohio. She's an Ohio player in this business world. And I'm in Columbus, George. She goes by the name of Monica C. Gidry. The C is for cut. See, I had to go get a cut last night to get ready for it. The C is for class. It really has style. <laughs> if you want to you wanna be it, you got to see it. Oh, my goodness. Follow her on our website, monicacgidry.com. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep a straight face during this interview. Oh my goodness, you are amazing! The hey, intro, everything. Hey, I appreciate that. Like I said, if you got a nigga, you got to make a dime out of it. You know, <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't a singer, but I was a, a word bringer, so I brought the words, and I had the young brother sing it. Hey, you know? hey, I need, I need a jingle. He need exposure. <laughs> oh, hey, that, that's how you do it. You that's know? how you do it, barter. You help, you help each other. You know what I mean? That's right. So it's a blessing. How's everything going for you? Everything is going good. I, you know, I'm just being a mom and maneuvering my way through remote learning for one of my kids, and and the other child that I have is going to school full time. So just you know, working through working through that and our new normal. You know? Okay, okay. So tonight, what we're gonna do is through the word heart. I'm going to interview you uh, through the word heart because I know your platform deals with the heart, you know? It does. See, because I know you, I know you, you know, I know you come from the scriptural side of the, of the, of, of the scene. You know, I did my research now. Okay. The word heart, you know, you had the word he, right? <laughs> he is in front of the art. You know, when you put he first, your art will shine. Okay. Now, now, now I might have to take that because I wasn't even thinking that, but okay. Like, like I tell, like I tell people, you can't steal what God reveals. <laughs> use it and use it. Just don't abuse it. I'll, I'll, I'll quote you. All right. Uh, we good. We good. But <laughs> hey, before we go into the interview through the word heart, you know, tell us about your product. Some of your products. Okay, well, I just finished um, a project that I did. It was the Five Day Pursuing Passion Challenge. And um, at the end of that, my um, the people that participated were able to receive my ebook that I wrote uh, for free. And so my ebook is out there on Amazon.com, and it's called Purpose and Passion. It's by Monica C. Yadri, and it's how to use the fuel that's inside of you to discover your dreams. So I have that out, and I also have a podcast that's doing extremely well. So I have a course. For people who are interested in starting a podcast and I give you step-by-step -step information on how to do that and I also give you a manual on how to monetize that platform so you'll also be able to to make some money um, I also have different memberships for people that want to join the whole heart community they'll get one-on-one -on -one, um, not coaching but strategies with me as well as a question and answer every Thursday and just kind of uh, work through some issues that they may have that have them stuck in life so that I can help them get unstuck and start living a life of purpose, passion, and joy. And all of that information is on my website. I don't want to bore everybody right now, um, but they can definitely book me for a 15-minute free consultation um, on calendar, on my no, calendar. You're not going to bore them. You're going to soar them. You know? <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Monica, not the singer. This is Monica, like she said. <laughs> She's the passion and the purpose bringer. 
<laughs> I do sing. I do sing though. Oh, oh, oh. You wanna you wanna share? Nope. <laughs> Maybe uh, another time. She, she the heart, baby. There she go, chipping away at that heart, you know. Now <laughs> she just took part of mine. It's always a blessing. But that the age in the word hard is for habits. How important are habits? Positive habits. Oh, habits are extremely important um, because it, it develops um, discipline and we all need discipline. So if you don't have discipline, you don't have perseverance. And if you don't have perseverance, then you don't know how to handle trials when those, when those come and they will come. So I believe that habits are extremely important to develop daily habits. Even one small thing that you do every day will start great habits. Yeah, I, like, I like that word trial because, uh, you know, because I like your mill, your mill initial C because when you look, when you see inside of the word trial, if you move that A and the I around, it spells out trail. Oh, so just, okay. If you're in a trial and you can turn things around and blaze a trail for people. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to get my Gidry on today. I'm trying listen, to get Listen, <laughs> and everything that I've ever done in my life has been birthed out of a trial. So okay. I created a trail for my trials. Okay, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Sure. The, the E is for entrepreneurship. Yeah. What made you want to become an entrepreneur and how do you stay sharp in what you do? So really what made me become an, want to become an entrepreneur is just me being a mom and just wanting to be an active mom. So I, wanted, I knew that when my kids got to school age, I wanted to be there to see them off to school and I wanted to be there when they came home from school. And not many places lend the ability to do work-life balance. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to take the ball into my own court, use what I have in my hands, my abilities, and um, create some create a stream of income so that I can have the type of freedom that I need to have to be there for my family. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that because you 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 said your mom, and now part of the reason. I'm gonna give you a nugget for that. You know, you gotta move up. You, as a mom, as an entrepreneur, you got to move our mountain. That's mom. Listen. Then monetize our ministry. So I then just, monetize it. Give you a couple. Give you a couple nuggets. I know you <laughs> rock it. Up. The A is uh the A is for attitude. How do you keep a good attitude for yourself and, and present it to others? Gratitude. Every day, deciding to wake up and give thanks and be grateful for for the life that I've been given, because I know that if I don't wake up in the morning, it means that my purpose is complete. But every time that I wake up, it means that I have purpose. And so that it gives me a, a, a good attitude. Now, do I always have a good attitude? Not always, but it's usually because I've not checked in my gratitude. OK, OK. A.G. Always, always great. Your attitude, your gratitude. I like that. I like that. Uh -huh. No real. The R is for relationships. Mm -hmm. Do we still need to network and build relationships? Yeah, this is my favorite, actually. I, I, I love relationships. I love talking about relationships on any level, whether that be from a friend to an associate to a mentor, um, whatever those might be, and defining those relationships so that, so that no one is disappointed. So, yes, I really feel that we should um still nurture relationships, even in this world, this crazy world that we live in, I think that it is extremely important to still do. Okay, yeah, because I always talk to people about building relationships and networking and, and uh, because it's real, real important. I actually just posted something about that the other day on my Facebook about how I've learned to network with people outside of my city, outside of my front door, because I understand that to accomplish what I want to accomplish in this life, I have to go beyond my front door. And now I can have popularity in my own city. Right, right. But I want influence. And in order to have influence, I have to go beyond my city. Because people, because people are asking me, man, like, you know, you got different people. Like some people say, you're doing too much. You know, you're interviewing people too much. And I'm like, should never well, do it too much. No, no, but I'm just saying, you get different feedback. I get different feedback just like you do. And so I say, well, I'm not doing it enough. <laughs> when you know, when COVID hit, relationships I built from years past is what put me in position to do even greater. Uh huh. And so, because like, because these relationships are with a lot of publicists, and publicists are connected to a lot of clients. That's right. Clients are not in position where they're out speaking or traveling or performing. 
so they need to do publicity. So a ve- I put a vehicle in place to put me, you know, that connected me to opportunity. Mm-hmm. So people got to understand what you do in 2020 can determine what you do in 2022. That's right. And can I add that ge- it's genuine relationships, right? Genuine relationships. I, I believe in in um, connecting and having genuine, authentic relationships because those are the ones that are lasting. Oh I mean, God. and what I mean by that is if it's someone that you're connecting with just for network purposes, it's still OK to ask how their family is. How's right. your husband? How's your wife? How are your kids? How are you? Are you feeling well? Like those types of things are what makes you memorable to people because they know that you really care. That, that might be some from uh that might be some you you do a uh 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 ebook or a article yeah. on. I mean, and, I'm passionate about yeah. it. And it could be called from PR to GR for public, the genuine relation. I've been trying to plan. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, some people want a rose, so I'll try to get a Gidry, you know what I mean? <laughs> The tears, the tears for testimony. Tell us about something that you've been through that helped you break oh, through. Oh man, that helped me break through. Yes, there, there's been so many, so many different things. Name someone. We got time. Oh man. Okay. So the the one that I, I like to tell or share, or there's two. So I'll I'll quickly do this one because a lot of people know it. But um, a while ago, that I had there was a home invasion. A man broke into my home and attempted to kill me. He was there for that. Um, I kept telling him that he could leave and all he did was continue to stab at me and tell me to die, B-I-T-C-H. And I remember after the incident, I, clearly I'm here. I, I fought back and was able to take the knife from him and hold it to his neck until I was able to get to my door and run. Um, but that night, I remember being so gripped with fear. Like I never knew that fear could feel like a thing like a living thing. I I explain it like it felt like a cloak that just surrounded me and I couldn't move. Fear is something that makes you paralyzed. And I remember that night thinking to myself, I would never return to my home again. I never wanted to live in my home again. The next morning I woke up planning to go to a friend's house and um, decided to stay. Something told me to stay. And I stayed in my home and I remember marching around my home just declaring, I will not be afraid. I'm not afraid. I will not be afraid. I will not not be afraid. And I did that until I literally felt like that cloak lifted off of me. And from that moment, I've never, I've never allowed fear to consume me. And so I've now teach how to face fear and how to help people break out and free from fear, because I know that it's real and how to recognize whether it's fear or just being, you know, just being scared of something like this is very different. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, and I use as my testimony and not only as a testimony, but now I'm setting other people free because I have the tools to help them do that. Um, but if I would not have gone through that myself, then I wouldn't be able to teach it. Um, and the other thing uh, that is a testimony is I was told that I would never be able to have children ever, 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 ever. And I have three that I've birthed and um, it took eight years, eight years of of artificial insemination, of being poked and probed and shots in my stomach and just uh, lots of hormones and different things like that because I still believed. I was 24 years old when I was in my uh, hematologist's office and he told me, he said, hey kiddo, when are you gonna get a hysterectomy? You're not gonna have any kids and you can't keep going like the way that you're going because you're gonna eventually die. And I looked at him like, I'm never gonna have that because I'm gonna have children. and I ended up having them and more, <laughs> more, more than the one that I was believing for. So, um, so, so those are just a couple of my testimonies. But I mean, I could go on and on and on, uh, you know, all yeah, I, all night. I'm getting you talking to the mirror because <laughs> see, see, sometimes the DA don't just stand for the district attorney. Sometimes it stands for the doctor's advice, you know? <laughs> and, and the wrong DA can lock you away. That's right. That's right. I don't listen to the wrong DA. Yeah, I'm speaking from facts. You know what I mean? They told me yes. I was still the rest of my life, you know. Uh-huh. I saw a different opinion, you know. <laughs> you, know you know, yeah, I am. They, they can't legally even prescribe me pills right now. So <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. So I understand what you're saying. So right. that's a beautiful story because 
we all got to hear it because sometimes we think there's no other way. Yeah. I think it's, you know, whatever they tell us, you know, right. I mean? you know people tell us you got to speak this way. You got to live this way. You got to believe this. But, you know, there's other sources. That's there's right. Another, there's another source for your course. That's you right. Receive that source because everybody's source is different. Yeah. You know, there's no one way, you know, it's, it's, you just got to find your path. That's right. And draw your graph. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm on my Monica C. Gidget tonight. Just, <laughs> before, we, before we go, is there anything you'd like to leave us with or anything that we missed out on? Um, the only thing that I would like to leave your, your viewers with is just the importance of wholeness. Just, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer that when we are whole in certain areas of our lives, we can get unstuck from places that we feel like um, we're unable to move in. And so whatever that is, just take an assessment of your heart and of your mind and tell yourself that you don't have to stay there and, and then get help so that you can receive the wholeness that you need in order to move from where you are to where you need to be. Uh, and and that, that's it. <laughs> Hey, you just inspired me with something, you know, yeah. uh, the word help, right? Uh -huh. You got H-E-L, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like hell. Hell is in the word Ooh. help. But it it's going to be hell until you get the right P around you with the right people. People, right? come on. They can give you the right, you know, promotion, the right push, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the right possibilities, you know. The right posture. You have to have the right posture. <laughs> <Turn up. laughs> so they can get, they can pull you into the right your, position. <laughs> we can go on all day. Passion. Then you get to <laughs> see? <laughs> and then you can pursue. There you go. There you go. Hey, then you can persevere. So, there you go. And then you can pull other people with you. I, we can go all day. We can go all, all day. Right. We own the show, man. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, it's a blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, Monica C. Gidry from Columbus, Ohio. Check her website out at www.monicacgidry.com. She is a life strategist. She brought you her whole heart. And it is a fabulous time. We, we learned tonight about our habits. Mm -hmm. She's an entrepreneur because she's a mom. You know, having the right attitude, gratitude. Not just any type of relationships, but building genuine relationships. And she talked about her testimony where she, had, she was facing a killer. And she turned that testimony into where she was a dream filler. And, yeah. showing, and showing other people how to get off their rear and get into their career. So that they no longer have fear. I'm just trying to get somebody tonight excited so that they get invited. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me on all social media platforms at Entertainment and even on Cash App. And it's a blessing to be your host on Prime Tide because, like we say, the smaller things will quietly lead you to the big opportunities. If you're listening today or if you listen to us in the future, work on your craft because the things you say. And the things you do may be the only school that someone ever sees. So until next time, I thank you for your time. And Zay Sanford, the Zay, at Zay Sanford Music on Twitter, Zay Sanford Music on Instagram, he brought us in. And his young brother, he's going to take us out. Hi, hi. You Hi, hi, you very hey. Hi, 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 hi.